Understanding State Ownership, a simple guide. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an interesting topic, state ownership. This term is often used in economics and politics, but what does it really mean? Let's dive in and find out. State ownership refers to a situation where assets, businesses, or resources are owned and controlled by the government, rather than private individuals or companies. This is a key concept in certain economic systems like socialism or communism, where it's believed that the state should control the major means of production to ensure fairness and equity in society. To illustrate state ownership, let's look at some examples. In many countries, essential services like railways, public utilities, like water and electricity, and healthcare often under state ownership. This means the government is responsible for their operation, maintenance, and how they serve the public. Every system has its advantages and disadvantages, and state ownership is no exception. Pros, equal access, ensures that essential services are available to everyone, regardless of their income. Public welfare, focuses on serving the public interest rather than making profits. Cons, bureaucracy and inefficiency, government-run organizations can sometimes be slow and less innovative. Political influence, these entities might be used for political gain, affecting their neutrality and effectiveness. It's important to understand the difference between state ownership and private ownership. In private ownership, individuals or companies own and control the assets and are driven primarily by profit. They operate in a competitive market, which can lead to innovation and efficiency. However, they may not always prioritize public welfare or equitable access. And that's a wrap on state ownership. We've covered its definition, examples, pros and cons, and how it differs from private ownership. We hope this video has been informative and helpful in understanding this complex but important concept. Until next time, keep learning and exploring.